everybody, it's Professor Williams, and today I'm going to show you how to use a contingency table to create stacked column charts um, in Excel. And we're going to begin by creating a pivot table and use that pivot table to get our contingency table to get us our stacked column charts. So what I have here is I have data, um, about 600 emails that were sent, and the customers were asked um, where they were located and whether or not they had made a purchase. So we want to be able to consolidate this um, so that we can determine um, how many people purchased or didn't purchase in a given location. So I'm going to begin with a pivot table. So I'm going to click insert. Whoops, before that, here's a hint. I'm going to put my cursor somewhere in my data because then when I hit insert pivot table from my data range, you'll see that Excel already selected my 600 rows um, and I don't have to, to mess with that. If you didn't put your cursor inside of your data, you just have to type it in. I'm going to put this in my existing workbook so that you all can see it. And I'm just going to put it up here in E1. All right. So what's going to happen now is you're going to have a pivot table field dialog box open on the right hand side of your screen. So you'll see that our three variables, email, purchase, and location are already populated. Now we just have to decide where do we want them. So we want the rows to be our location because um, that's how we wanted to look at the data. We want our purchase to be in the column and then we because our email is really our count I'm going to take my email and I'm going to drag it down to values. So now we have a contingency table. But the problem is, is what's happened is you'll see up here it says sum of emails. We only had 600 emails, right? So we've got these grand totals. So we need to go back over to um, the pivot table field dialog box and get it to ch and change it so that it isn't summing these things up. So see right here where it says sum of values. I'm simply going to click on this. And I'm going to ask, I'm going to say value field settings. And that's going to give me a dialog box. And I don't want sum. I simply want counts. So I'm going to hit counts. And I'm going to hit OK. And now when I go back over, you'll see that I've got <clears throat> the counts of my emails. And I'm just going to center these things real quick. Um, make that one a little bit bigger. All I'm doing is just dragging these, but it just makes a little bit, a little bit neater um, if you can just center this stuff um, and then center. All right. So what we know is in the Midwest, right, we had um, 107 no's and 77 yeses. 184 of them were from the Midwest. In the South, 130 said yes. And it's often... Um, preferred for us to express contingency tables in terms of percentages. In other words, what percentage of the total was um, the 107 no's. So we're going to go back to our contingency table box right? and we're going to convert those to percentages. All right, so I've gone back over to the right-hand side of my screen and there's nothing there. And it's like, where the heck did my pivot table stuff go? Simply click on one of the cells in your pivot table and boom, here it all comes. Right. So what I want to do is I want to change those counts into percentages. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to come back to value field settings. And I'm going to use this show values as, and I'm just going to say I don't want cal I don't want no calculation. I want it 
as percentage of grand total. If I wanted just percentage of column or percentage of rows, I could do that. I just need the percentage of grand total. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say OK. And now when I go back over to my contingency table, it, they've all been converted from percentages to rows. And then you can toggle back and forth um, between counts and percentages um, if it makes you happy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a stacked column chart. So in order for us to do that in store, stacked column chart, now we've got to go back. Unfortunately, um, I'm going to go back over and I'm going to change these back to um, show my values as counts. So now I'm back to my counts. All right, so I'm going to come up here, over here to my insert. And I'm going to insert, I'm going to select insert column or bar chart, which is this one right here, where it says insert column or bar chart. And what I want is I want this one that tells me stacked column. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to say OK. And it's going to put it right down here. So um, it's telling me exactly what I want. I'm looking at um, purchase. So purchase is yes. Purchase yes is orange. Purchase no is blue. If I, now you can work with this like you would any chart in Excel, right? So I'm going to change that font and I'm going to go to a Lato 11, make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. I'm going to go here. I'm going to change my font. I'm going to go back to a Lato 11 here. Probably make this a little bit bigger now. Um, and then I can change anything I want in terms of my chart elements. Um, I have my axis. Um, I can put in my axis title if I wanted. I can put in a chart title. Um, and that would be, um, let's say, 2023 promotion results. Um, I can go in. A lot of times they want um, people like to see the data labels. Right? And so if I click on the data labels, you'll see here my now here are my numbers 77, 102, <clears throat> um, 130 and 101. Those are all of my um, yeses, and then <clears throat> all of my noes are my 107, one, my 41, 24, and 18. If I want to make those bigger, I can just right-click on those, go to Font. Again, I can go to Lato. I go to Bold. Um, I just want Bold, and I'm going to make it in um, 10, and I'll say OK. And you see now that they're bigger. Um, I can also change my chart style. So if I wanted to go to a different color scheme, I could. Um, I'm simply going to do that with this little paintbrush. Um, but <clears throat> what I had was um, the results of 600 emails. And I now have a contingency table that I can express as either counts or percentages. And I have created a bar chart from that contingency table. The whole contingency table stacked column chart may have sounded a little intimidating, but hopefully if you follow along these steps, you'll be creating them in no time. I appreciate um, your attention and thanks for watching.